Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Connor and today I'm going to be going over how I make money off of YouTube with barely any subscribers at all. Right now I'm about at like about 40 or so. I started making it with zero subscribers and so um, obviously a lot of people are going to want to know this so let's get right into it. So, is there a way to make money off of YouTube? with zero subscribers and I mean zero like you could just make a new account right now and just start posting videos and start making money off of it yes there is but before anyone thinks like all oh, this video is gonna be a bunch of bullshit it's not in the way that you probably think it's not off of YouTube revenue or coming directly straight from the company of YouTube or Google so what I do to make money off of YouTube is I post videos that show that I know what I'm talking about and I don't necessarily, and okay, let me explain this, okay? So what I do is I have a routine where I post on YouTube two days a week, I post on LinkedIn and Facebook once every single day. And so what that does is it keeps my followers and subscribers engaged. They know I stick in their head. So every single day that they're seeing me, every single day they're seeing me, it's not always on YouTube, it's not always on LinkedIn, but maybe one day they're just checking Facebook, okay? So from those people, if I end up sending them a message or trying to get them into my uh, digital marketing program, then they're gonna already have heard of me, they're already gonna have seen my content, and I'm already gonna be in their heads, okay? Because the ultimate way of marketing is staying in people's heads, being the first thing they think of when they wake up and the last thing they think of when they go to sleep. So. Essentially, I have a routine where every single day, like I just said, I post on LinkedIn and Facebook. Not always on Instagram, not always on Twitter. I don't even really use Twitter. You know, those are the two platforms that I really, really focus on. And then YouTube, I don't even have this channel to make money off of YouTube directly. Not from the actual company of YouTube that sends out those checks once a month. That's, that's not even my intention at all with this channel. Essentially, it's to build more brand awareness, stay in front of people, and some people check YouTube more than they check Facebook or LinkedIn or Instagram. So this is my way of staying engaged with those followers that only use this platform. So a lot of my videos, and pretty much all of them, don't have to do at all with digital marketing or consulting or any of the things that I do. All they are is things that I've learned. And another thing that I use when it comes to YouTube is I go through a lot of courses and I'm sure a lot of the entrepreneurs out there that are watching this do. Um, and so I relay the information that I learn so that you guys can see it. And not only does that help you guys and get me some credibility, but it makes, it helps it stick in my head. Okay. Cause I, I'm reading every single day. I'm taking courses every single day. There's a lot of stuff that I don't, that I'm not able to remember if I'm not saying it, saying something is a way of <laughs> keeping it in your head longer. It increases your chances by, like I believe it was like 10 times. So if you're going through a course or you're doing whatever else, why not instead of just writing that note on a piece of paper, put it in front of a bunch of people that are gonna make, that's gonna make you look a lot more credible. And then ultimately for the people that are looking to get more serious and more information on what you have to offer, that you're basically funneling them from YouTube, LinkedIn or Facebook to whatever it is you use. So for pretty much every single video i'm putting in the description that my instagram is drape d-r-a-p-e drape um, a lot of the people that found my channel they found it through instagram and so those people um if they're serious which i've had a few people they're gonna be like oh man i saw your youtube video like i want to get more information on what you do so i can give them that information for those who want to get more serious and are committed they're gonna join my program they're gonna which i teach young entrepreneurs how to make money off their computers in the exact ways that I have in the best way that I know that's worked for all, I believe I'm at 70 students right now, all of them. But I've had maybe like one or two people that haven't been happy with what they learned and I'm not even gonna try to sell you, okay? So anything that I say, just just don't buy off me. I, I have the worst services, I don't, I'm not credible, just whatever else. Don't directly try to sell to people. That doesn't work. Don't be a salesman or else that's, it's like, I saw an analogy, like your brain, certain things just really, really register. Like to be honest, like for example, when you walk into a store and someone, think, and someone asks you, hey, can I help you? Your initial reaction without even consciously thinking is no, I got it. 
That's always what you do. You don't even look at the person, you don't even think of anything, but you've just heard it so many times that you're just gonna automatically cancel them out. And so I'm not trying to make this video too long. For those who have stuck around, what I want you to take away from this is set up a routine where you're staying in front of people. Whether you teach e-commerce, whether you teach digital marketing, even if you don't teach anything. If you have a service that you offer, make videos on that service or videos that pertain to the people that might need your service and just stay in front of them every single day, okay? Because like I said, this is, I want you to really, really take this away, okay? 20 years ago, the best way to sell someone was having a loud message that was better, better than anyone else's. Today, it's staying in people's heads, being the first thing that they think about when they wake up and the last thing they think about when they go to bed. So, how can you use this? Use YouTube, use LinkedIn, use Facebook. Instagram is not as important. Um, I have like 25,000 followers on Instagram and I don't necessarily use it that often because a lot of those people aren't even serious. The people on Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube, I found it like I have the most success with them, they're the most serious people. And they're ready to get started and they're ready, ready to take the next step towards whatever they're trying to do. So yeah, that's what I want you to take away from it. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be putting up videos twice a week like I've been saying and I really have been trying to stay consistent with that. So if you're interested in seeing more, or you want to learn more about what I do, subscribe to my channel, uh, comment any video suggestions below, uh, make sure to like too. And for those that are interested in my program, I'm not trying to be salesy. You, if you just want to subscribe to my channel, it, it's free. It's completely free. You can see everything that I learned for absolutely free. So, but if you want to join my program, which is, which has helped 70 entrepreneurs so far, between 60 and 70, and I have so many reps on my Instagram, you can go to my students tab on my stories on Instagram and you can see all the success stories. That's, that's if you're interested, no pressure for that. But yeah, make sure to like, comment and subscribe, follow me on Instagram and send me a message if you're serious about moving forward or anything, any of the things that I messaged. And even if you're not, please try to get some value out of this video. This really, really helped me stay in front of people.